it's October time and we're out in the garden. Now, I don't even need a coat on, do you? I mean, it's just fabulous. No, I mean, this is the first It's really brilliant. Jacket. And, you know, the whole city's going mad outside, but, you know, we're just having a great time, the two of us here. We're going to be cutting stuff. Now, what are we doing? Right, now, these are penstemons. I think we right. showed some earlier. You can get them in shades of white, pink, there's bluey pink, uh, up to pur deep purple. And there is an evergreen perennial that flowers. You keep talking the there. Just tell Molly. Molly, stop it. Um, Sorry, I can't that's stop Molly just that. making noise. Don't mind her. Now, what She's we're going to do there. is, as you said in October, ideally Sorry. we'd be doing this a little <laughs> earlier in September. But right. if you live in a very cold area, you may lose these if it's a very cold winter, very frosty winter. Now, do you winter. mean, because will these flower for the whole winter? Oh, no, no, I don't mean lose the flowers. Oh, yeah. I mean the plant is Oh, it can only tender. Takes, okay, can so tender. if you're planting that plant then, do you have to find a nice cosy spot in the garden? Um, where, where we are on the East Coast, it's not really a problem. If you're but in if the you're over in the West Coast now, somebody might be watching us there, Susan, well, from the West Coast, what well. do you it's think? It's the sort of Midlands where you get heavy frost, etc. You might lose these. Um, you could try covering them with fleece or something in the winter. Oh, but I don't wonder, do you cover yours with fleece? You could let us know if you're over in the west, it's a around Galway yeah. or Kerry or somewhere, Susan. Um, it's a good idea, though, with these things to take cuttings. Just on Facebook and tell us all about it. No? And it's Susan can yeah, keep working that there. Wait, right, sorry. Take this cutting. <laughs> take your cutting. Okay. It's a good idea, and it's a nice thing to do to be able to propagate plants. So what I've done here for, this is for Rosie is I've cut the very soft growing tip out of this non-flowering piece of penstemon. Right. And then what I'm going to do is I want to pick cutting about so long. <coughs> I cut just below this is a good sharp knife, just below what's the leaf axle. Yeah. This is where the leaf hits the stem. I wonder can she get that there on camera? Yeah, the leaf axle, leaf and the where the <coughs> leaf joins the stem is the leaf yeah. axle. Okay. So you trim just below that. Yeah. Cut right. like that. Yeah. And then you take these lower shoots off. Again, and tidy it up, back. sort of. T you tidy it up. You don't want the cutting having to support too much growth right. while it's trying to make roots. Okay. So take these off. Side so you're sort of trimming off. the whole stem you're of this it, now. trimming it, yeah, yeah. Now I've taken these side growths off. I'll also take this pair of leaves off, but not the actual, what would turn into stems. So you take off the big leaves off? Yeah, I'm taking the big now leaves off. Now why are you doing that? Off. Because I don't want the plant, this thing, which has no roots, to have to support a whole lot of green. Because these will Oh yeah, because all the energy will be going into well, the leaves. It, it has nothing and the except flowers. what moisture it draws up to, to maintain these. So, okay. Um, and yet it needs some, some of these. Now, we're going to dip it into some hormone rooting powder, which I'm actually going to put into the top, so that I don't make a mess of the whole thing. This is a hormone rooting powder. Right. You just gently put the tip into that. Yeah. Shake off the excess. Right. This is a mixture in the pot of uh, two parts peat to one part sand. Okay, so you Sharp just mix sand. it all. Sharp yeah. sand. Sharp is there, now, you, where do you buy that sand? You buy this in a garden centre. Oh, yeah, so don't it's be going out to the beach. Cause it'll be no not good. the beach, because it'll be full yeah. salt. And not builder sand. It's sharp granite sand. Okay. So make a little, well, I'll do it up here. Make a little indentation. Yeah. Put your cutting in. Just down to about so far. Uh -huh. Don't bury it. Okay. In there and firm it in like that. Right. Oh wow. Now okay. there's another. I mean, this is brilliant now because. So how long do I leave it in there? Um, you put that in what's known as a cold frame, or you could just put it outside, a sheltered sort of spot. So Not anywhere in sun, that's shade. In <coughs> shade. In shade. Okay. What you could do is get two concrete blocks and put a sheet of glass over them and just weight them down with bricks, and then you put this in underneath. You don't want it getting drowned in the winter. So what about somebody doing that? If I was going to somebody who lives in an apartment now, could I bring them along this? Um, I think I'd wait till it was rooted in the spring and you potted it up before you... Before you... Okay. Because they may look at you a bit peculiarly. Why did she bring us this Well, no, because died? they can see it then. It'll develop, if you know what I mean. Well, it may... I mean, with all propagation, not everything not is Not everything root. takes... Okay, so... so this one now is, is what we'd call, I'll show you on that, what we'd call a heel cutting, which is slightly different. Right. So okay. can you show me these bits yep. here? Now a heel cutting, these are quite mm -hmm. soft, so I probably wouldn't use anything as soft as that. But a heel cutting is pulling off one of these side branches. Off one that's off got the flowers well, coming up. It yeah. My, and it means you're taking a bit of the stem of the original, just trim the excess. Oh, right. And then you do the same, soft just chip out. Soft tip out and then the big leaves. And then the big leaves off. Okay. 
the nails are sharp, you can use those. Yeah. And then you put that into the co potting compost into again. The potting compost. Well, it's it's okay. piece of sand I've used there, a bit of rooting powder. Oh yeah, into the rooting powder, and then it goes. And then it goes, and then we water. So how in. do I know now that that's going to um, take or? I don't know. You don't. So how do I know when what to take them out of there? What you need to check these, and if there are any leaves rotting, pull those off. Okay. Um, and then you just, like all these things, you hope for the best. I mean, that sounds a bit So, but negative, will they get much bigger in there? Uh, once they're rooted, you'll begin to see growth from them in the spring. And then in the springtime. In the springtime. So this is going to stay, stay like this, this summer. Is stay now, like could that be put into a shed? Uh, I'd rather it had a little bit of light. And so it needs a little and bit of light. You're going to okay. watch what about a shed? Well, you know those sheds that have got the windows in them? If it dries out completely, um, you're, in trouble, you're too. in trouble too. So you need it outside? Yeah, you need it okay. outside. Or you need to watch watering. You could put it on a shady windowsill or something inside, as long as it's not overly heated. Okay. And um, Now there are varying cuttings. I think there's a bit too much leaf there, they're all touching each other. So. Which isn't a good idea either, isn't is it not? Idea. Well, if one rots, you don't want it passing on to everything else. Oh, right, so okay. Air around there. Perfect. Um, there are various things where you need, if you're really going to go into propagation, where you need bottom heat because it needs to be, have, you know, heat underneath as it's rooting, so you have electric wires going oh, underneath. Oh, really? So, oh, yeah, I mean, this but is But just for the ordinary serious. Joe soap just like me. Just for the ordinary Joe soap like you, you do a few in a pot like that and, and then you, know, you can go out over and them and, hope and hopefully the then you'll have that for years to come. Oh yes, yeah. Yeah, and just um, as a matter of interest, if anybody has used the more sophisticated uh, system, we'd love to hear from you, wouldn't we? Yeah, you can. Get yeah, little just come and tell us how you're yeah. doing it. Be it great gas. It doesn't have to be a commercial setup. You can no. get nice little heated propagators. Can you for varying things? Yeah, and they wouldn't be expensive to buy. No, no. I mean, they're small things you plug into your greenhouse or something. Once you've got a greenhouse, you see, if you have a little greenhouse. Funny, yeah. I was. Um, Went down to a place yesterday and I saw greenhouses. Now, grand greenhouse for about 550 euro, a steel glass house. Yeah. And um, I was thinking, you know, you could grow a lot in there. You could do your tomato oh, plants. You do tomatoes and, and things. You yeah. do your you work. Really and you can do this having. sort of stuff then as mm. well. So you put that into yeah. a little greenhouse. Yeah, no, I'm going to just water this in. Okay. A little drop. Oops. Good, good little drop. That'll be fine. And we just see and what happens. And that's it. Well, we'll see. We'll keep an eye on this guy. We'll yeah. label him. Yeah. Yeah. Label him. Okay. Yeah. And we'll keep an eye on him.